What's up, guys? Look at me. I'm playing Limbo. This is a new game bringing to you guys. It's episode 1. I already started playing like 2 minutes in, so don't worry about that or anything. Let's get into this. Uh, I don't think you actually use like the mouse or anything in this game. From when I like started playing, so... Alright, I'll... Shh, shh, shh. Shh. I'm sleeping. Alright. Oh, oh. Open my ass. Can I get up? It's Friday, Friday. Sorry, I won't, I won't badger you with that song. Get up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just a little, little more, bud. So I'm pretty sure this game is about, like, Limbo, which is that, like, theory that when you die, you, like, stay in the world. Now, it's really interesting about this game. It's, I thought it got really good reviews. It was, uh, like, won awards or something, I was told. That's why I picked it up. It was really cheap on Steam. Check out Steam. They can do sales all the time. Now, what's really interesting about this game is that it's completely based in this world, and you're, everything's black and like this, and, um... Like, all the trees and, like, grass and stuff is really oversized. Whereas, like, everything else is, is down to your size. So you're not, like, miniature or anything. Everything else is just giant. We're gonna kick it off right away. We're just gonna hop up here. Um, actually, is there music to this? It's, uh... Brightness. I'll we'll keep it up there. Controls. You can have a, a nice game controller. That's a little too bright, actually, for me. Sorry, guys. Thought maybe that would help. But, uh, so here we go. We're gonna jump down here. Oh god. So the uh, the physics and stuff. Now is space jump? No, space isn't jump. Okay. The physics and stuff are actually really nice. I was really impressed. Um, I think control is the action key. So I just bring this cart here. Just gotta climb up and uh, yeah, like a boss. Now what do I do here? Uh, just, just climbing down. I mean, that's nice rope. And it's really nice, like, um, for the view. But I'm going to start talking about the technicals. But the, anyway, the view, field view is really nice. But, uh, you know, we're going to get all technical, I guess. We're just going to play the game. I think you can slide by pushing. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, I don't think I can swim. Pretty sure I drown when I try and swim. Uh, I'm just one of those kind of people who just never learned how to swim. Hop on my boat and, uh, Apparently, when I jump, I can break chains, so I can never get arrested, because I can just jump and break all the chains. Like that guy couldn't couldn't break those cuffs, but I can break the cuffs, so. Got a lot of momentum out of that. So hopefully things will pick up and be a little more exciting. Check the time. Um, one second, while we hit this land here. Set some time. Alright, and we can hop out. And I grab my boat and pull it onto shore. So I'm guessing this handles for anyway. No, I'm just gonna actually have played this part. So, all right. So I'm pretty sure I think oh, hop up here. Oh my god! You see that jump, guys? Oh my god! I thought it was just gonna kill me because of the spikes. I'm gonna climb up a spiky uh, palm tree, maybe. I don't really know. Hop onto. Oh no! <laughs> that could have ended badly. All right, try that again. Uh, climb up my little tree. Got my tree shoes on. I'm gonna climb up this rope. Oh man, look at that sun. No, 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 what the heck, dude? Oh my god. Okay, so, uh, there is fall damage in Limbo. Gotta keep that in mind. You, uh, you will die if you drop from about 30, 30 to 40 feet. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that. I had never, I didn't know there was fall damage in Limbo. Alright, moving on. So you see this nice, uh, nice grass movement when you, uh, when you walk through the grass. Dude, climb up the rock, what are you doing? Uh, I'm really not sure what the whole plot line is exactly with Limbo. Um, I know, all I know is about is the, the whole Limbo part. I'm not really sure what the entire plot line of the game is. It's a nice forest though, pretty nice and, and cheerful. Happy, uh, okay. <laughs> I almost ran right into that. So, my arms go out when I want to pick it up. Yeah, take that. Uh, can I jump this? Oh, yeah, I can. So, oh, wow. <laughs> that was really gory for, uh, <laughs> for uh, a little, little sandbox. No, it's not really sandbox, but like a puzzle sort of game. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Make this jump, and just, no, no, oh my god. 
I am absolutely horrible at this. And I, I'm serious, like, this is exactly what happened in the first time I played, too. So. Just kind of take this. Are you. God! Damn it! <laughs> I'm not really that upset. Alright, we can do this, though. It's not, not that difficult. It's really not that difficult. I'm just making it difficult because that's just what I do. So, and go. Yeah. Not even close. Complete piece of cake. Oh my god. This is why this is where the game gets This is a right around where I actually stopped playing because I wanted to record this. But I was really interested in seeing how the game actually was and what like what it was like. Um, this is where it gets kinda creepy and disgusting. Because as you can see here, we have this weird sort of um, sort of corpse, you could say, with flies on it, and it's obviously I'm not really sure if it's been hung. I don't want to really jump to that conclusion. But it's obviously on a rope. And it was obviously placed there. Uh, it's just, it's pretty disgusting. They actually have to jump on this and, like, let my body touch it. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, we do that little puzzle there. And we have, run up here. And a steady 30 frames per second, too. This is a really nice game. Um... I'm mean, just jogging along. Got some tree trunk here. Some pebble. Oh my god. I <laughs> uh, got some, some pebbles rolling down. Nice tree trunk. I uh, don't really know what, why it's there. My guy's really good with his hands though. He just he just grabs those cliff sides like they're like they're uh, something you grab a lot. Uh, you can fill that in yourself actually. <laughs> We're running through the grass, you know, so that's like, oof, oof, can't get that anywhere else. No, I, I, I digress, it really is a, a beautiful game. Uh, I have to push this, yeah, Just shove it into the water. I definitely drowned it here, like, 30 times, because if you go off this ledge, you just instantly, you stop coming back. You instantly drown. Why well, is coming back? Stop it. Oh, 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 come on. Go! Oh. I said go, dude. No, 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 my job. Blah, 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 blah. It's kind of interesting that I can breathe even though I'm in limbo. I don't really understand how that works. I mean, I, get, I understand getting chopped up would kill you, but... I don't understand how I, I breathe. See, that was just just too far. And, uh, and I died. What's that, what's that death meter up to, I wonder? Alright. Excuse that sound if you hear it. Um, for whatever reason, my computer's fan is just, for some reason, just doesn't handle the stuff very well all the time. And I have no, oh, what? I have no explanation for as to why it does that. But, um, there's going to be a slight loud sound, maybe, if you can hear it, but it should take it away. This is a secondary fan I have. It's a little loud, kind of sounds like a vacuum sometimes, but um, it should take care of the problem. Now, why do, what am I missing here that uh, I'm just not doing right? I know I did this before, so the fact that I'm having trouble with it right now... Okay, that was close. <laughs> this is, like, I think... I think I might have done. Can I hold on to it while I swim? No, I can't. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Well, this episode's going really good, guys. I'm uh, pretty proud. <laughs> pretty proud of this episode so far. Um. Pretty sure I'm not really missing anything, it's just how did I do it before? That's a really good question. If I just jump and just die instantly. I, okay, alright. We're gonna we're gonna take this step by step. Alright, here's what I gotta do. Here's what I know I gotta do. I need to take this box and I need to put it into the middle of the lake. Oh like pond. Scum swamp thing. Why does it float back here? 
go that way. Go that way. And that way. I said go that way. Use those leg muscles to push it over. I can't go any farther than that or I'll just die instantly. I mean, that's sort of working. If by, like, not moving at all is working. I don't understand why it just keeps coming this way, though. Okay, it doesn't float with me on it. It does not float with me on it. We learned that lesson. Dude, go over there. <laughs> So close, not really, but hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure. Is it actually ripple? I'm pretty sure I'm not necessarily doing anything wrong. It's just the whole kind of there's just that what the f... Mm. The kind of luck of the draw sort of thing. I don't want to spend too much time on this one puzzle. I mean, this is right in the beginning. And I'm, I'm failing horribly, and I feel so bad because of it. Does this work? Nope. Alright. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna beat this. And when I, as soon as I beat it, I'm gonna come right back so I'm not just wasting minutes doing this. All right, baby.